时候。What's your problem? Why do you have such a grumpy face? I really had a great time talking with her. I enjoyed her company. That's why I invited her over for dinner. You don't need to explain. You can do whatever you want. But it has nothing to do with me. You don't like anything I do anyway. Because your heart is with somebody else. Whatever you say. Just don't play those boring tricks on me. I have a girlfriend. But I don't like your girlfriend. I never asked you to like her. I tried to. But I really couldn't like her. It can be anyone. Anyone but her. I just can't accept her. You don't have to accept her. I hate her. <sighs> What's wrong with Ling Xiao? Uh, nothing. He needs to do something. Come on, sit down. Sit. Sorry about that. Uh. Uh, I don't know what you like to eat. Go on. Try this. Here. Have some tea. Oh, uh, Miss Chen, you didn't have to. I'm too full already. I'm so sorry for today. Ling Xiao left in the middle of dinner. He got mad because of what I said. You were uncomfortable, weren't you? Oh, not at all. Boys are not like girls. They are less considerate when they grow up. <laughs> Miss Chen? I don't know if I'm thinking too much. Don't be mad if I'm wrong about it. What's wrong? It's okay, I won't be mad. Tell me. <laughs> Miss Chen, I think that you like me a lot. Of course I do. You are good looking and nice as well. Everyone likes you. Uh, thank you, Miss Chen. <laughs> but Ling Xiao is just a younger brother to me. Besides, I quite envy his feelings for Li Zhen Zhen. Ling Xiao and Li Zhen Zhen grew up together, and he came back to her after so many years. Their feelings are strong. This is their destiny. <laughs> Have some tea before it gets cold. Miss Chen. <laughs> You might not know much about their childhood since you lived in Singapore. They're really nice together. They grew up with each other. Everyone envies their relationship. How do you know so much about their childhood together? Li Zhen Zhen wrote a story on Treehole. Somebody posted it on Weibo. It was trending. Oh. All our colleagues in the clinic have already read it. I'll send it to you. Uh, okay. Please read it. Uh, okay, okay. When I'm free, I will. <laughs> uh, Miss Chen, 
Uh, thank you for today's dinner. Sorry for disturbing you. I need to leave now. Uh, stay a while longer. No, thank you. See you, Miss Chen. Uh, let me see you all. No need, Miss Chen. Uh, I'll ask Little Orange to see you all. No need, it's okay. Uh, bye, Miss Chen. Oh, uh, okay. So, have you persuaded your mom? <sighs> My mom is hard to persuade if I don't make some achievements first. But I will still keep on fighting. I'll just do it in a much different way. I will influence them with practical actions. Anyway, did your parents really get a divorce? They did. Why did your dad suddenly want to divorce your mom? Aren't they a model couple? Your mom always praised your dad for being obedient. She always praised me for being obedient. <sighs> hmm, now it seems that obedience is no merit. You and your dad are planning something big, aren't you? But you... are you really feeling okay? I'm... I'm not fine, but I force myself to not think about it. My dad used to be invisible at home, but he was at home anyway. Actually, I feel sorry for my mom. She used to tell me that my dad and I are her career. Now her career is a complete failure. That's the reason why women should consider improving and developing ourselves as our lifelong career instead. When it comes to a crucial point, she got neither an obedient husband nor obedient children to rely on. <sighs> I'm back! You're back. What did you eat for dinner? Hot pot. <laughs> it's convenient to have hot pot. Hey, why did I also invite Fang Shi Shi? Feng Shi Shi? Uh-huh. I just got off work and I saw Ling Xiao come back with Feng Shi Shi downstairs. How many people did Ling Xiao's mom invite over for the housewarming dinner? Why invite a female colleague? What housewarming dinner? I invited Cheng Shulan and Du Chuan to eat hot pot to celebrate tonight. Huh? So your future mother-in-law had a housewarming party and invited Ling Xiao's female colleague instead of you? Does she hate you that much? It's enough that my husband likes me. <sighs> I really don't understand it. Why is she like that? These days, parents always want their children to marry someone they're familiar with. Your future husband grew up in your family. So how could she... Were you too annoying when you were a little kid? <sighs> Maybe I am. Back then, when they just moved over, I knocked on their door with... A basket of walnuts. What's wrong with walnuts? Does she hate walnuts that much? I know about it. Ling Xiao used to have a sister several years younger than him. Every time she went out to play mahjong, she locked the kids at home. Ling Xiao's little sister choked on a walnut. The door was locked so Ling Xiao couldn't get out. And because of that, the girl died. Oh, that really happened? This is the first time I've heard about it. But wait, she hates Li Jian Jian just because of a basket of walnuts? Is she crazy? I don't think it's because of that basket of walnuts. It's because Li Jian Jian knows all the skeletons in her closet. So do Dad Li and all the neighbors. They all know that her daughter died while she was out playing mahjong and having fun. She abandoned her son after divorce. She had an accident and she asked her son to take care of her. When she sees Li Jen Jen, she must be feeling exposed in front of her. 
That's what I think. Hmm. According to what you said, from her point of view, Ling Xia can marry any girl in the world except Li Zhenjian. What are you planning to do now? I... I got no plan. There is nothing to plan. I'll cross the bridge when I get there. No need to worry about it. Okay. I'm relieved to hear that. I think as long as you love each other, there's really nothing that can stop you. Mm-hmm. Yeah! Win her over! If you can't, you try harder! That's a great idea. <laughs> Eat something while you drink, or you will get stomach problems, huh? As your father, <laughs> I'm useless. If you don't share your problems, I worry about you. If you tell me, I couldn't help you. Your dad leaves better than me. He can cook well, smooth out arguments, and have a good chat with you. <laughs> I'm good at nothing. Dad, you don't have to do anything. I feel secure when you're around. <laughs> good. <laughs> Good. Mm. When I was in Singapore, Mom was even worse. I wanted to call you and ask you to take me home so many times. special job so you couldn't. It's not your fault. <sighs> Dad, I haven't dreamt of Yoon for a while. Has she already forgiven me? I paid off all that I owe my mother. Why are you here? I'm passing by. Maybe you didn't bring an umbrella. Oh. It's okay. I was going to take a taxi later. You'll get wet when you get out. Sorry for the trouble. No problem. Let's go then. Mm-hmm. Because of her, everything was made bright by her. She was the smile that shed light on all around her. Around her. So good. This is really great. This is great.
Little Orange. What? Did your brother contact you? Be nice to him if you care about him so much. During one summer, a new neighbor moved in upstairs. His parents quarreled a lot, so we often sat in the stairwell reading comics. My dad and I always call him home for dinner. Before long, his parents got a divorce. His mom left him. He lived with his dad. You're still eating? Hey! You just still eat? You want to eat? You want to eat? When did you bring this back? Give it to me. Hey. Hey, Chen Ting, that's our last photo. Let the poor boy keep it, okay? Give it to me! Give hey, it stop to it. me! Hey, stop it! Are you crazy? Why did you hit our son? Of course I'm crazy. I should have choked on the walnuts! Enough! Will you stop bringing that up? Uh, Why did you give her that? Hey! Why did you give your sister those walnuts? Uh, will you stop talking about walnuts? You've said enough! It's not like I'm lying! It's his fault! He killed his sister! Really, just stop talking about it! He killed it. my daughter! Auntie! Auntie! You don't want Ling Xiao anymore? Can I All yours. Yay! Thanks, Auntie! I have a brother now! Let me help you. I said I don't want to eat! Ah. You're going back, aren't you? So you can see them every day. Can you just stop? I'll be dead if you leave. Just go! Don't pick it Mom. up! Stop don't it. answer Mom. it! Mom! Mom! <laughs> It's all my fault. Are you happy? It's not. It's all my fault. What's wrong with you hating your mom? All your attention is on your dad, even on your neighbors. Because they love me. Why don't you love me? Answer your call right now. Uh, he is he all right? I just want to have a word with him. <sighs> Can you just stop forcing him already? Haven't you seen what you have done to our son, huh? 
He took care of you for so many years. How can you just torture him like that? Huh? I'm begging you, please be nicer to him. Show some mercy, okay? Xiao, drink some milk. You'll feel better. Hey. It rained heavily last night, didn't it? But I didn't get wet at all. Someone picked me up. <laughs> she was passing by. Do you feel better? Huh? Aren't you curious who picked me up? We know already, okay? It was your mom. Mm -hmm. It rained yesterday and your mom picked you up and only left after seeing you home so you didn't get drenched in the rain. Hmm. You're irritating me. <sighs> you guys always blame me for hiding everything from you. So today, I'm sharing my joy with you. How nice it is. <sighs> your timing is really great because we're gloomy today. Hey. <clears throat> was pounding on the door so early. <laughs> Why? What happened? Come on in! <laughs> Brother, Mom disappeared! <laughs> this is her last letter! Do you know when she left? She was still watching TV before I went to bed last night. I didn't see her when I got up this morning. What should I do? I'll go find her. <laughs> Where are you Let going? Go! You called the police? Don't cry. Take care of her. I'll go with him. I'll call the police. <sighs> Ling Xiao. My son. I'm sorry that I'm not a good mother. Maybe my existence is the biggest harm to you. I kidnapped you with selfish and fragile love, but I ignored your feelings. Over the past years, you've done so much for me. I am aware of that you're living in misery. It's just that I'm so helpless. I lost my little daughter. Then I lost more when I had the accident. I lost my mother, my husband, and my legs. I'm too afraid to keep losing things, and especially you. I'm so regretful that I didn't take you with me when I left. Even if I was on the verge of collapse back then, I should have held your hand and we should have faced it together. I hate myself for being weak. But I don't know what is the right thing to do. I wanted to make it up to you for the rest of my life. Now I realize that I shouldn't have forced you with my so-called love. Fate has bound me to a life on a wheelchair, but I've selfishly bound you to me. I know that you are in pain and you can't sleep, but I've been deceiving myself. I'm sorry. I'm so selfish. I don't want you to be with Li Chen Chen because I don't want to remember my past. I just want to start a new life. But every time I see her with you, it always reminds me that I once abandoned you and that I hurt you badly. I don't deserve your love. I don't deserve to be your mother. 
My love is too selfish. Now I understand. You never belong to me. You should follow your heart and live the way you want. Now this time, I really hope that you can be happy. Then I can finally set myself free. I'm leaving. Take care of little Orange. I love you. Please forgive me. And then, forget me. Drowned. You have a lung infection. You need to stay here. Fortunately for you, two fishermen went to sea before dawn. They saved you. Little Orange was scared and stayed with you all day. I told her to sleep. She read your note and she felt sorry, saying she was mean to you. And that's why she was not in your letter. If you did anything wrong, you have to stay alive, Mom. If you die, everything stops. The things you've done, the wrong things, and the painful memories will always be there. It won't get better. Can it get better? I remember when I was little, I had scabies on my back. It really hurt. You said, when the pus comes out, the wound will heal. It. You're done packing? Yeah, we are. Uh, I'm here to help you. Thank you. Uh. Mom! Hurry up! Mr. Ling is here! Coming! Check around the house. See if you left anything. It's all packed. I'll start bringing things down. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's fine. Leave it to me, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Oh. Ling. Uh, okay. I'm going down. Okay, okay. Okay. <sighs> 
I'm sorry to bother you giving us a ride. Oh, it's no big deal. Hey, why don't you check again to see if you left anything? All's packed. Let's go. Oh, all right, let's go. <laughs> been looking for a chance to apologize to you. For what? You called Ling Xiao the other day and I answered it. I said unpleasant things. That's why you tried to commit suicide. It's not your fault. As I said, all of it is my fault. Besides, after Yun was born, you took care of two children alone and I was out for work all day. And at that time, I didn't know anything about that PTSD thing. I thought that you would be better after a while. I'm the one who should be blamed. I'm sorry. Let's not mention it anymore. I've forgotten it. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm going to live in Singapore. Little Orange likes it there and I'm used to it. So about Ling Xiao. Please take care of him. I will. I'll take care of him. I'm his father. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. When you go back, don't just play around. Mom has a hard time moving. You should help her in cooking and other chores. And also, study hard for a good university. Huh? Miss Chun, Zichu and I prepared some Xiaomin specialties for you. <sighs> we can give it to your friends when you go back. Thank you. It's what I should have done. Thanks to you too. Oh. Thank you for taking care of Little Orange. It's okay. Little Orange, now you know life is not easy. Study hard, okay? Hmm? We're leaving then. Study hard, stop messing around. On New Year, Jen Jen and I will visit you. Hmm? I got it. Go on. <laughs> girl. Jen Jen. Huh? This time, I'm really leaving Ling Xiao to you. Take good care of each other. Okay, don't worry. I'll make him happy. <sighs> Be safe, Miss Chun. They have left already. Now you have an hour to prepare and get dressed. We'll leave when you're done. That's right. I gotta find Tang Sun for makeup, otherwise it'll be too late. Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> Marriage certificate? Mm. It's all so sudden. <laughs> I gotta start preparing the red envelope. Of course you should. Get a big one if you have money. If you don't have money, Borrow money to get a big one. <laughs> you money grubber. <laughs> hey, you know, I spent a lot of money. I just invited everyone I know to see your play premiere tomorrow. How about that? Don't talk about it. I'm starting to get nervous now. What if I mess up and fail tomorrow? What if I'm replaced by my alternative? What if the audience boos me? I'll boo them back for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, honey. <laughs> Look at you. Who is it? Who's that? <laughs> Mrs. Chi. Tang Tan. Mrs. Chi is here. Jen Jen. Both Let of me you are home, you. huh? It's heavy. <laughs> it's Mrs. fine. Chi. I'll do it myself. Where's Ming Ye? She went out. She doesn't have work today, does she? Oh, she's out for groceries. Ah. Oh. 
I made a lot of delicious food for you. There's absolutely no sachet sauce this time. I know it now. Uh, Tang Sen is allergic to it. <laughs> this time I made this sweet, crispy peanuts. You like this, don't you? Thank you, Mrs. Chi. I love that. <sighs> Goodness, look at your house. It's such a mess. Let me clean it up for you later. You three lazy bones, who would be willing to marry you? <laughs> Let me help you. No need. Go ahead with your business. We don't have to worry about it. Mrs. Chi is still the Mrs. Chi who complains about her daughter's <laughs> friends a lot. You're right. bought a suit for Dad. Dad loves it so much. You're cute today. <laughs> You're handsome, too. Give me a kiss. Is this all right? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Dad, you look great today. Miss Home has a good taste. But I don't feel comfortable wearing this. <laughs> Why, Dad? The suit looks lovely on you. Uh. Of course you're handsome in it. Uh. Dad. You really look great. <laughs> Good for you, Dad. Flash marriage. Have you been in love for a month? How can you call it flash marriage? We dated 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, let's go now. I've backed your residence booklets and ID card. <laughs> They're close to the bureau. We gotta hurry oh. up. Let's take a family photo after this. Oh, that's great. Wait, I need some hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you're already handsome enough. Oh my goodness. <coughs> go, let's go. You're transferring your shop? Oh, yeah, although it's starting to make profit. I'm still a dessert chef. I want to make desserts. Once it's transferred to someone else, I'll open a dessert shop in the scenic area. I'd like to ask Miss Lu Hong to help me choose a location. That okay? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I never thought that one day I would see my mom get married. My dad will be good to you. Be good to him too. Your future is brilliant. I wish you happiness. Two are sitting uh, too distant. Huh? Right. Hug her. You're married now. Like huh? this. Like this. A uh, uh, hug? There's no need for that. <laughs> Why? You're a man. Take the initiative. Uh, Come on. 
Hug her. Ah. Uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> there. Get closer. Hold her hand. Look at the camera. So okay. Be closer. There. Look at the camera. Something is missing. Hmm. What, what to is do? It? Mom. You are beautiful. <laughs> So great, like this that. is nice. Don't stop, don't. Lean your head on him. My face is good. Dad, <laughs> we're in the studio on the second floor. Come up. Yeah, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Not bad, good. Oh, oh, traffic was so bad. Sorry, I'm yeah, late. Yeah, Ling. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. You're finally here. We're waiting for you to take a family photo. Yeah. Huh? You're the ones getting married. Why take a photo with me? Can you stop? Don't turn us down. Besides, you've already dressed so smartly for today. <laughs> Aside from that, Jenjin and Ling Xiao are getting married. We'll be a real family, huh? Yeah, you're right. Come on, let's take a photo together. Come on, come on. Right. Come on. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Where should I stand? Stand behind uh, your mother. Okay, you guys stay back there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. Mm. Please look at the camera here. We're going to shoot. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. And... Yeah. 